Hello everyone, this is Bharat here. Welcome to Talent Open Studio for Data Integration Training. In previous video, we saw how to install Talent Open Studio for Data Integration 5.6. In this video, we shall see how to install Oracle Database Express Edition 11G, which is again completely free. The reason why I have chosen Oracle as it is still the most widely used database even though there has been lot of new databases in the market. If you have already installed Oracle or some other database, you can skip this video. But I will be using this database only for demonstrating all database related activities in future tutorials using Talent. So it is highly recommended that you install this database. So let's get started with the Oracle installation. So for installing Oracle, I will Google Oracle Express Edition 11G download and the first link is going to redirect me to the Oracle website. So there firstly I need to accept the license agreement and then it is going to list down me various versions of the software depending upon the type of machines I have. So currently I have Windows 10 and 64 bit machines so I am going to download this version. So once you click here, it is going to ask you to create your account. So if you have already created your account, you can sign in with your credentials and when you click on sign in, your software downloading will start. So I already have downloaded the software and I have unzipped it. So once you open the folders inside that unzipped folder, you will see various kinds of files. So Oracle installation is pretty easy except in one step where you just need to set the password for the system user and also you need to remember this password so keep it as simple as possible so i'm going to start the oracle installation and it's going to take some time so i'm going to pause the video till i reach till that step So this is the screen I was talking about where you need to set your system password so I, you can set it as Oracle to keep it as simple as possible. So after your installation is complete you need to run your SQL command line. The reason why we are doing that because we need to create our own user which will use to log into Oracle database through talent. It is highly recommended that you don't use the system user to log in through talent as it has got lots of unwanted system tables which definitely you don't want to have. So let's just run the SQL command line. So from here you need to connect using system user which you had just created. So I have logged in using system user. Now I need to create my own user. So I'm going to write some specific commands to create my own user and grant them, grant them access. So my user has been created. Now I need to grant them access. We also need to grant this particular user a default table space so that it, it can create its own tables. So let's just grant the default table space.
so that's it now we need to we can log in through this user and we can see whether our access works or not we see we have been able to log in through our own user we have created so in this video we saw how we can install the oracle database and we see how to create our own user and we are going to use this user in the upcoming videos to work through the talent over his databases thanks for watching